Hey guys, this is a quick example on how you can quickly add the uh, minimap to the first person template, for example, using the Centorius minimap. So first we're going to go to the Epic launcher and we're going to add the dynamic UMG minimap to the project. So we're going to click on add to project. Here I'm going to select my project and I'm going to click on add to project. And after a few seconds, we should have the Centorius minimap on our project. And here is our minimap added to the project. Now we're going to go ahead and create a new widget, which uh, then will add the minimap component to it. So I'm going to create a folder here and I'm gonna call it widget. And inside it, I'm going to create a new user interface or widget. So I'm going to right click here, user interface, widget blueprint. I'm gonna call it minimap. I'm gonna double click it. And then I'm going to add the uh, the minimap component you can search here in the search palette if we go here to user created we can find the minimap component or we can look for it here so minimap and then we can add the minimap component we're going to pick a size so i'm going to make it 400 uh, by 400. there you go i'm going to put it somewhere here and then of course we need a map texture uh, for our map here we can quickly generate one or create one using the scene capture uh, that we can find here if we go to the Centaurus minimap I'm going to click on it I'm going to go to minimap component and then actors and this is the map capture 2d we're going to use this to make a static texture which means that it does not change and it's usually best for performance uh, we're going to make another tutorial uh, where I will show you how to make a render target for dynamic maps for example when this box for example moves you want to update that on the map as well so we're going to uh, put the map capture 2d on our world so here it is we're going to go to location here we're going to set x to 0 and y to 0 so it's at the center of our map and in the preview you can see here we have the preview of our map so make sure you're selecting the uh, the map capture 2d and you want to go to ortho width we can look for it here so ortho width and then we want to change this so that it captures our entire map so we can make something like 5000 it depends on the size of your map if we click here here it is it updated and for now this this looks fine 5000 is the size of our map so we're going to right click on this capture 2d and we're going to create a static texture so if i right click we can find here create static texture and from there we're going to wait and we're going to rename that to minimap texture now that we have the static texture we no longer need this one so we're going to simply delete the capture 2d and save up on performance so this is the minimap texture which we're going to use on our minimap so this is the minimap widget we added the minimap component already we're going to go to the map texture here we're going to select uh, the minimap texture so here is our minimap texture we're going to select that we can and we can see here the preview next we want to give it the ortho width that we had in the scene capture if you remember it was 5000 that's the link of our map that we capture in the texture if we go to map link and texture we can change that to 5000 we can change the zoom to something like 0.3 or like 0.4 and zoom steps we don't care about that yet because this is a quick tutorial i have an in-depth tutorial on how to uh, change all the settings at runtime so we do want to rotate the map and we want it to be round you can have it to be square or round and view angle i'm going to I'm going to pick up the view angle that you can find in the Centaurus folder and for the size I'm going to go with 200 by 200 and for the color I'm going to leave it like that for the location I'm going to pick up the my position of course all these assets are in the Centaurus minimap folder for the size I'm going to pick something like 50 by 50 and for the color we can pick whatever we want we can leave it this way or we can add a border and we can pick the border the round border and then we can select a size for example 500 and for the border i'm going to disable the rotation so we're going to compile and now all we need to do is just add this widget to our viewport i'm going to go to the first person blueprint blueprints and and my first person character which is the default character for the first person template we're going to go to the event begin play and we're going to add a sequence so a sequence so that we can then continue so i'm going to drag a pin and then look for create widget so we want to create a widget and what widget we already gave it a name which is the minimap 
So the minimap widget, not the minimap component, the minimap widget, which is the name of our widget that we created here. So content widget, and this is our minimap. So this is the name of the widget that we created here. So that's the widget that we want to add to the viewport. So we can promote it to a variable if you want. So right click here, promote to variable, and I'm going to call it my minimap. And then from there, all you have to do is just do add to viewport. So you want to add it to the viewport. Now that we added it to the viewport, all we need to do is just update the minimap. So we're going to drag from my minimap and I'm going to get the minimap component. Get minimap component. And from there, I'm going to call minimap start update. So this is a function that's going to update the minimap and it needs a owner, which is this one, this character. So I'm going to drag from owner pawn and I'm going to give it self. So write self get reference to self and that's the owner of the minimap and that's all you need to do so we're going to compile and now i'm going to play and we should have the minimap at the bottom there it is and we can move around and we can then see what's going on on the map and track our position etc so i have an in-depth tutorial on how to add characters uh, point of interest etc how to change the minimap texture in another tutorial, I will show you how to use a render target. For example, if you have a dynamic map, for example, if we hit this box, we want it, we want it to update on the minimap as well. So you can use a render target for that, and that's going to be our next tutorial. So that's the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions, put them below, and if you need the link to the minimap, it's in the description. Thanks for watching, and see you later. Take care.